boys and girls, we're just making sure that we're on, that we're alive. Okay, and we're ready for story time. Um, I'm having some work in my house, so hopefully it will be quiet and we won't have too much noise in the background. Um, today we're going to share some rainbow fish song stories and some ocean songs. Let's start with our welcome. We clap to say hello. We clap to say hello. We are here at story time. We clap to say hello. We wave to say hello. We wave to say hello. We are here at story time. We wave to say hello. We stomp to say hello. We stomp to say hello. We are here at story time. We stomp to say hello. We're going to start out with Rainbow Fish to the rescue. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there swam a school of fish not just ordinary fish, each one had a sparkling silver scale. Ever since Rainbow Fish had shared his scales, these fish had done everything together. They swam together, they played together, they ate together, they even rested together floating in the shadows of the reef. They were so happy together, they had no interest in the other fish. So one day when a little striped fish swam through their game of flash tag, they all stared at him. Hey, the little striped fish finally said, can I play too? It's flash tag, said one little fish, and you don't have a flashing scale. Do you have to have a special scale? The little striped fish asked. Of course you do, said the fish with the jagged fins. Come on, let's play, he called to the others. Don't worry about him. Then all the fish turned and went back to their game. Rainbow Fish hesitated. He was afraid of losing his new friends, so he didn't sta dare stand up to the fish with the jagged fins. Feeling a little ashamed, Rainbow Fish reluctantly swam off to join the others. The little striped fish floated all along at the edge of the reef. He looked sad as he watched the game. The other fish were having such fun darting and diving in the deep blue sea, their shiny scales sparkling. Rainbow Fish remembered what it felt like to have no friends and how lonely he had been when all the fish had ignored him. He had been so proud of all his glittering scales that he had refused to share them. No wonder nobody wanted to play with him. But now his friends did want to play with him and Rainbow Fish soon was caught up in the game. No one was paying attention when danger entered the reef. What do you think is entering the reef? <sighs> Suddenly, a shark shot out like an arrow in the middle of the school. The fish darted in every direction and managed to escape to their hiding places. There, in a narrow crack in the reef, the shark could not reach them. They were safe. But the little striped fish wasn't. Rainbow Fish couldn't keep still. He was so worried. What's wrong? asked the skinny fish. It's the little striped fish, said Rainbow Fish. He's all alone out there. We've got to help him. With that, Rainbow Fish left the safety of the hiding place. Let's go, he called. The other fish trembled with fear, but they knew what they had to do. They sped out of the craft after Rainbow Fish. They soon saw the shark, and there was the little striped fish swimming and spinning away from his jaws. Rainbow Fish could see that the little fish's strength was failing fast. Hurry, sh shouted the rainbow fish, and all the fish streamed straight for the shark. This confused the shark because usually fish swim away from him. He turned this way and that way, snapping right and left until he was dizzy. The shark almost got the fish with the jagged fins, but he escaped with just a few scratches. Quietly, rainbow fish led the striped fish to safety. You are really brave, said the little striped fish. Thank you for saving my life. Together they watched as the exhausted shark gave up and swam away. When all the fish returned safely to the reef, they welcomed the little striped fish. Why don't you stay and play with us, Rainbow Fish offered. How can I play flash tag when I don't have a shiny scale, asked the little striped fish. We can play fin tag instead, said the fish with the jagged fin. 
touch a fin, and you're it. All the fish cheered, and they swam off to play together in the deep blue sea. And that is Rainbow Fish to the Rescue. And we have some more Rainbow Fish stories in just a minute. We're going to do the waves on the sea. It's to the tune of the wheels on the bus. Here we go. The waves on the sea go up and down, up and down. Up and down, the waves on the sea go up and down. All through the day long, the sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the fish in the sea goes swish, 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 all day long. The boats in the sea go toot, 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 toot. The boats in the sea go toot, 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 all day long. The crabs in the sea go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, the crabs in the sea go back and forth all day long. The jellyfish in the sea go wibble, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, wibble, wibble, wobble, wibble. The jellyfish in the sea go wibble, wibble, wobble all day long. Right. Now we're going to have rainbow fish and the big blue whale. A long way out in the deep blue sea, the rainbow fish and his friends swam happily through the reef. Each of them had a glittering silver scale except for one little striped fish, but he belonged to the group anyway. We had just met him in the last story. While the fish were hungry, they ate tiny krill. They seemed to be an endless supply of this delicious shrimp. Rainbow fish only needed to glide gently through the water with his mouth open to catch as many as he wanted. It was a wonderful life. One day, a gentle old whale swam by the reef and decided to stay. He liked the spot since he too ate the krill that was so plentiful there, and he enjoyed being around the glittery fish. Often he drifted along, watching them for hours, admiring their beautiful shiny scales. Before long, the fish with the jagged fins noticed the whale watching. Why is he looking at us like that? he asked the others. He was in a particular bad mood that day. See how he's staring at us, he went on irritably. Who knows what he's thinking. After that, all the fish grew more suspicious of the whale. Look at that giant mouth, said one. Soon the krill will be all gone. Rainbow fish began to worry. Until now, the fish had always been able to eat their fill. What if the whale did eat up all the krill? And why did he keep staring at them? Was he planning on eating them too? What do you think? One day, the whale swam quietly near the school of glittering fish. Panicked, the fish with the jagged fins sounded the alarm. Look out, he called. The wicked whale is after us. When the whale heard that, he was hurt at first, but soon he grew very angry. I'll show them, he thought. I'll teach them a lesson. So the great blue whale shot in the middle of the school and lashed out with his gigantic tail, sweeping the sparkling fish in all directions. The terrified fish fled, racing towards a crack in the reef for safety, but the whale didn't leave them alone. He followed Rainbow Fish and his friends all the way back to the cave. The blue whale swam back and forth, casting sinister glances at the little fish. They were trapped. I told you that whale was dangerous, whispered the fish with the jagged fins. We have to watch out for him. After a while, the whale calmed down. He made one last pass, then disappeared behind the reef. Nervous but driven by hunger, the fish cautiously left their cave and swam off in search of food. But the battle with the whale had left its mark. All the krill had been driven off. This is silly, declared Rainbow Fish, before we play happily in the sea. Now we hide in terror in a cave. Before there was always enough food for everyone. Now we have nothing. We must make peace with the whale. The other fish were all too afraid to approach the whale. 
It was up to Rainbow Fish. The whale stared at Rainbow Fish suspiciously. Please, let's talk, said Rainbow Fish. This fight was a big mistake. It drove off the krill, and now we're all go hungry. The two talked for a long time. The whale told Rainbow Fish how hurt and angry the hostile words had made him feel. I never meant to harm you, said the whale, just to scare you a little. Rainbow Fish was ashamed. I'm sorry, he said, but when we saw you watching all of us the, all the time, we were afraid you might eat us. The whale looked surprised. I watch you only because your shiny scales are so pretty, he said. They both laughed. Come now, said the whale. Let's find a new hunting ground. So Rainbow Fish and his friends, protected by their new friend, the big blue whale, swam off together in search of a new home, rich with krill. And before long, none of them could remember what the terrible fight was about. And that is Rainbow Fish and the big blue whale. And we have one more Rainbow Fish story, but before that we have a song, Old MacDonald Had an Ocean. And you can help me with the E-I-E-I-O's. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, and in his ocean he had a shark, E-I-E-I-O, with a jump jump here and a jump jump there, here a jump, there a jump, everywhere a jump, jump. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean he had a crab, E-I-E-I-O. With a pinch, pinch here and a pinch, pinch there. Here a pinch, there a pinch, everywhere a pinch, pinch. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, and in his ocean he had a whale, E-I-E-I-O, with a spout, spout here, and a spout, spout there, here a spout, there a spout, everywhere a spout, spout, Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, and we have one last Rainbow Fish story before a goodbye song, and this is You Can't Win Them All, Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish enjoyed drifting around the sea. His home was the shiny, and he was happy there among his friends. There had been some additions. Redfin had joined them, and immediately she and Rainbow Fish became good friends. Come on, let's play hide and seek, said Redfin. Will you be the first seeker, Rainbow Fish? Rainbow Fish agreed. He began to count up to 20 while the other fish looked for hiding places. I'm coming, he shouted. I'll find you in a fishy flash. I hope you're well hidden. Rainbow Fish looked around. By now he knew most of the hiding places, so he knew exactly what to do and where to go. But this time he couldn't find anyone. There among the algae, wasn't that something moving? Rainbow Fish swam closer without taking his eyes off the area around him. I'm over here, Redfin shouted laughingly from behind. You swam right past me. Where were you? I never saw you, said Rainbow Fish, mystified. Not telling, said Redfin. Go and look for the others. Rainbow Fish swam off towards the reef. He searched and searched among the coral, and then at last, Hello! You didn't see me? I'm over here, cried the fin with the jagged fins. Fish with the jagged fins. Rainbow Fish had missed finding him too. The only one missing now was Little Blue. Hmm, Rainbow Fish had already searched all around the reef, behind the corals and in the algae. The only place left was among the sea and enemies. Just you wait, Little Blue. I'll find you. Where are you going? I'm ho hiding over here, cried Little Blue. I don't believe this, Rainbow Fish thought. I didn't find a single one. That had never happened to me before. But he kept his frustration to himself and said, Your turn to seek Little Blue. Rainbow Fish was pleased with himself now. Little Blue would never find him. Little Blue was still very young, and he didn't have much experience playing hide-and-seek. One, two, three. Little Blue began to count while the other fish hid themselves. Rainbow Fish ducked behind a bush of algae and didn't move a muscle. Can you find Rainbow Fish? Rainbow Fish, I can see you. You're hiding behind the algae, cried Little Blue. Come on out, Rainbow Fish. I found you. 
I don't believe it, said Rainbow Fish. You can't possibly have seen me. You obviously didn't count up to 20. It's not fair. All the other fish came out of their hiding places. Oh, come on, Rainbow Fish. It's only a game, said Redfin, giving him a friendly poke in the ribs. What? Well, I think it's not a good game. I'm not playing, said Rainbow Fish angrily, and he swam away. Can't we play anymore, said Little Blue sadly. I'm sorry, it was only trying to. It's not your fault, Little Blue, said Redfin. You didn't do anything wrong. I'll talk to him. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Redfin found Rainbow Fish near the reef. You were really unlucky this time, weren't you, said Redfin, gently. But you can't always win. It's only a game. And you did see the, did you see the look in Little Blue's eyes? He was so proud that he found you. He's the one who always loses. And now you spoiled all the fun for him. That's not fair. Rainbow Fish listened in silence. He knew Redfin was right. First, the other fish had simply found better hiding places than he had, and then he hadn't hidden himself well enough, and finally he had been a poor sport. You're right, Rainbow Fish sighed. I was acting like a poor sport. So now, what do I do? What do you think you should do? Come with me. Apologize and carry on with the game, said Redfin warmly. What else can you do? I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that. It's all so embarrassing, said Rainbow Fish miserably. I know you pretty well, said Redfin. You know what? You have to do it. You will make everything right. Together they went back to their friends. Rainbow Fish swam up to Little Blue. I'm sorry I was a poor sport, Little Blue. You really are good at hide and seek now, and I'll have to get used to it. Will you give me another chance? Yes, said Little Blue with a big smile. My turn to count, cried the fish with the jagged fins. I'll find you in a fishy flash. I hope you're well hidden. And that is, you can't win them all, a rainbow fish. And now we have our goodbye song. I hope you enjoyed our songs and stories. And it's, we clap to say goodbye. We clap to say goodbye. We are here at story time. We clap to say goodbye. We wave to say goodbye. We wave to say goodbye. We are leaving story time. We wave to say goodbye. We stomp to say goodbye. We stomp to say goodbye. We are leaving story time. We stomp to say goodbye. And I hope that all got recorded. We had a little bit of um, some problems there towards the end. I hope you enjoyed story time. Good night.